Hello and welcome to Kent Today Video News, your roundup of what's going on in Kent on Tuesday the 11th of March. I'm Kiran Kaur. The people who run the high-speed trains are hoping to stop at more stations and increase passenger capacity by creating an East Kent Coastal Loop service. It would see trains with 12 carriages running on a circular route and stopping at Walmart, Martin Mill and Birchington on Sea for the first time. South Eastern say it's in response to an increase in demand for services. The plans are being considered by the Department for Transport. A man's denied murdering a man who was found with head injuries in a Folkestone car park. 45-year-old Tim Clayton was discovered behind Europa House last November and died in hospital the following day. Brian Sharp, who's 54 and from Manor Road, is due to go on trial in June. A Kent MP has received a letter from the Home Office Minister sharing his plans to tackle the growing issue of legal highs. Julian Brazier, who represents Canterbury and Whitstable, is welcoming MP Norman Baker's efforts but feels there's still work that needs to be done. Legal highs were linked to the deaths of 68 people in Britain in 2012, up from just 10 three years earlier. And the Kent family home of Sir Winston Churchill is welcoming a marmalade cat at the request of the former Prime Minister. Jock the Six has a white bib and four white socks as suggested by the family nearly 50 years ago. The seven-month-old kitten settling into the West Run property, which is now a National Trust site. There's more local news on KMFM, but that's it from Kent Today.